Hello and welcome to this introductory video about the Commodore 128D CR that I just purchased. CR here stands for Coast Reduced. The Coast Reduced version was the last version of the 128D to hit the market. It has a metal chassis and everything is basically built in. We have the 1571 disk drive in there and also the power converter. So now let's have a look at what kind of accessories we need in order to get this wonderful piece of retro computing to work again. If your TV is able to receive analog terrestrial TV channels, then the easiest way to connect this machine to a TV screen is via the antenna cable. So this is basically emulating a TV station. And in this case, the picture is surprisingly sharp. So the modulator is in a very good shape. For better quality, you will have to use the monitor outputs. The Commodore 128 has two of them because it supports two different graphics modes. One is the classical with 40 characters per line, similar to the Commodore 64, and the other one is with 80 characters per line, which requires a completely different output. And the problem is that we then require two cables to connect the computer to one monitor. Luckily there is one single manufacturer that I found that sells a switching cable which has full color support for both modes so you just flip the switch and everything works on the monitor. In this case the cable has uh, a SCART connector on the other side and that works just fine with my TV. So here is the 40 character mode and we can then switch to the 80 character mode trigger a reset and the screen will then look like this. This is the 80 character mode. So with one cable we've covered both. Another very useful tool is the SD card reader, SD to IEC, which you can order from the website that I've listed below. This allows you to use the SD card like a floppy disk drive. Although it does not emulate a disk drive fully, you can still use it to copy disk images back and forth between your computer and the Commodore, which is very handy. I found one program which can do that fairly well. It's called Draw Copy. I've also linked it below. If you have to copy files a lot between real diskettes, it might also make sense to have another second disk drive in this case, uh, the 1541-2 is a very good model since it is fairly recent, fairly reliable, and it also allows easy switching of the device number. Usually the devices are hard set to number eight and you cannot have two with the same ID. So this is a very handy one to have. Another very useful tool are the expansion port cartridges. These speed up floppy access and give you a lot of other tools. I personally preferred the Action Replay cartridge because I owned it back in the days, but unfortunately it does not support the Commodore 128 mode and it also does not support the SD card reader. For that one, the Final Cartridge 3 is better. There is also an Epix fast loader available on the same website that sells the SD card reader. Thank you for your time. Feel free to post comments and questions below. Next time we look at a media interface for the expansion port and on how to implement the Digifix to the sound chip that was built into the Coast Reduced models.